Hi everyone, welcome back. So today is going to be another video on my wedding series I'm doing here on my channel. So I found my dress. Thank the Lord I found my dress. It, like honestly, there is a lot of things that went into dress shopping that I wish I would have known going into, but that's what I'm here for. So I definitely want to tell you guys my experience and things I wish I would have known going in and also some tips that I do recommend. My first tip would be do your research on places you are searching for a dress. So for me, for instance, I live in Mesa and there are a lot of bridal places out here but one thing that I wish I would have done was call ahead of time and book an appointment because I feel like Booking an appointment is so important because I didn't get the one-on-one -on -one time that I wish I would have had with wedding consultants. And also, be, as being a walk-in, they don't really pay attention to you as much as they would with people who do have an appointment. Um, so that's that was my experience on that. I wish I would have had appointments at different places. Um, and honestly, it was just kind of spare of the moment for me, so that was one of the reasons why I didn't book an appointment. The next thing is if you're like me and you are on a budget, it would be really nice to be upfront with the wedding consultant on your budget because chances are a lot of them do work off commission and they will probably show you like a really extravagant, expensive dress that is not in your budget and you're gonna constantly think about that and that is not something you want to do so when I went dress shopping I told them I didn't want to see nothing that was over a thousand dollars because although I know a lot of people do have higher budgets but I am on a smaller budget so I didn't want to spend an arm and a leg on a dress that I'm just gonna wear for one day so I told them that I didn't want to see anything over a thousand so as you could tell that was kind of like my budget range and I just wanted to start at the very bottom of the cheapest dress all the way up to the thousand mark range so that's what I did another tip is also kind of know what type of dress you're looking for know what type of dress fits well and suits your body shape and your body type so for me for instance I knew I didn't want a ball gown dress because Although I did try on a few ball ground dresses, I feel like it just did not look good on my body shape because I am short and I am stubby so that just accentuates me and it makes me look bigger than I already am so that was something that I was trying to avoid. Also I know I didn't want a mermaid dress although they look so beautiful because one of my friends had a mermaid dress at her wedding. It looked so beautiful on her. I knew it just did not look good on my body shape so that was something that I didn't want and I basically told her what I didn't want and I told her what I did want so that way she kind of got the idea and also I knew I didn't want like a completely fitted dress I really want to feel comfortable in my wedding dress so the dress that I did choose which was exactly the one that I wanted so it's like a sweetheart neckline so it's also mesh throughout the entire chest part and these sleeves are very lacy and that's exactly what I wanted. I wanted sleeves. I didn't want a sleeveless dress because I knew already how that looked like on me and I just didn't want my arms to look super huge because dresses tend to like push up your body so I didn't want to have like my arms look big so that's why I really wanted the lacy arms and I'm so glad I did find that and also the dress that I chose so it was just like very fitted on my front part and then the rest of the dress was very lacy and flowy so it kind of looks like an evening gown but you can definitely tell it is a wedding dress and the color that I did go with is ivory because Obviously, I do have a daughter already. Although we are not very traditional, I just knew that I didn't want to wear a white dress. And I feel like white on me just does not really complement my complexion. So that's the reason why I decided to go with an ivory dress. And I'm actually really happy with the dress that I went with. And also my next tip would probably be not to take a lot of people with you to your dress fitting because what looks what they think looks good may not look good on you and you're just gonna have their opinion in the back of your head and that's just not what you want especially if you are wedding dress shopping so that's why i took dallas and i was really happy that i did take him i kind of already told him the idea of dress that i wanted and i literally found that exact same dress 
that I wanted and it was for so cheap. It was about 170 or $80. I really don't remember the price, but it was so cheap and I just could not pass it up because it was exactly what I wanted and it fit my body the way I wanted it. And I didn't want to find a dress that I had to fit into. I wanted a dress that fit me because that was just, you know, I really wanted to be comfortable. So that was another thing. And the places that I did look for dresses was David's Bridal, um, Group USA, Alfred Angelo, Brilliant Bridal, and oh my god, the place that I got my dress, I cannot think of the name right now. It was not like a chain, it was just like kind of an individual store, but I will leave the name of that um, place listed below. I will actually see if they have a website as well, so that way I can leave the website below as well. I will import clips of me dress shopping. Um, it's probably going to be a little bit shaky and a little bit weird because Dallas was the one who was filming it. So yeah, I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye! Lying in your arms And these feelings Start to change